Hello, this is Logan here, and I'm going to show you how to make a render out of the Unreal Engine 5 City sample. I've created a camera, and I'm inside of the sequencer. And I'm positioning the camera at the start of my sequence. I'm going to set a keyframe using the hotkey S, which sets keys on all of the transform properties. Then I'm going to click the double arrow and move to the end of the timeline, move the camera down the freeway a little bit, go back and hit S again, and that way I have created a very simple camera animation, like so. In order to render this out, we're gonna to need to go up to Window, and then select the Cinematics, then Movie Render Queue. We'll be using this test sequence number two, which is the one that we have below. I'm gonna hit Render Local, and speed through this initiation process. After speeding through, now we see our render view, and what is going on here? This is not what I had in my sequence, and it is rendering out actually the camera set at the world position 000. Now, this caused me quite a bit of frustration, even when I was searching, I found in the Unreal forums that other people had the same problem. The main issue is that you need to create a spawnable camera, not a possessable camera. A spawnable camera is created from within the sequencer when you click the little camera button uh, beside the search, beside the save, you'll see that camera button. If you click that, you are creating a camera that is only inside of this specific shot and sequence. The other camera that I created was by using the create menu, which I've named the possessable camera. I'm now going to copy and paste the transformation data from the original camera that we set up as a sequencer, right click, copy on location, go into my spawnable camera, right click, paste my location, do the same thing for the rotation property, right click, copy, back into the spawnable camera, right click, pasting, then I will do the same thing for the end keyframes after I move the timeline. Uh, sorry, the playhead to the end of the timeline. You can see when I click on the camera from both the possessable and spawnable, they're at the exact same starting location. So copying the location data from the possessable, pasting it into the spawnable, and doing the same thing with the rotation information. Inside of my spawnable camera, we now have the same animation as we do with the possessable camera, identical in location and rotation, start of the timeline as well as the end of the timeline. The next important thing that you're going to wanna to do is ensure that in your camera cuts, you are in fact using the spawnable camera being bound to that. So clicking on the plus sign for the camera and going down to new binding and the spawnable making sure that it is in the whole timeline. It was at the very end because I had the playhead at the very end of the timeline. Now, when I look through the camera cuts camera, we are getting the same animation that we would through the spawnable or the possessable. Heading back into the movie render queue, setting up our test sense number two again and hitting render. I'm gonna fast forward the initiation process here and skip to where we see the result. And look at that, we have our render preview. Uh, this is the quality version, but it is rendering out the sequence from the camera that we created and it is not going to world position 000. I really hope this solution has some of you as I saw at least nine people having problems with this and I did not want anyone else to be as frustrated as I was. With that being said, thank you for watching and take care.